Welcome back. So we're largely done here. Well, we've some, seen most of what there is to see in the game. I can't really show the DVD content, I don't think. Or if I could. It's probably online somewhere else already. It is fun to watch these though, especially seeing the voice actors doing their thing. But anyways. What are we gonna do? So, there are a couple little things I want to show off at this point. Just for fun. I do kind of want to give certain characters a bit more of a, an opportunity to, I don't know, be, be visible and whatnot. Incidentally, one of them is JP. Because... We're gonna head off to France again for something that I want to show off. I'll make it, I suppose, the first... I don't know if there's anything I prefer to use here in particular. Because there is one thing I want to show. There are a few things I want to show off that are kind of amusing. One of which, the easiest of which, is actually in Elysium Alps. I don't know if I really have a preference between these. Whatever. And he has practically max stats anyways. Since I have the character maxed out. So, back to Elysium. In fact, maybe I should do this in a race. I think that'd be more entertaining. I might do that. Well, I might have to restart the game anyways. Why does this happen? Well, it's because the disc is old. This this disc might be on its last breaths as I, as I go through this playthrough. It might be holding out just long enough for this. Apologies for the lost time here. But what I'm going to do these next 12 episodes, I don't know how many episodes it's going to be. I'm just going to show off small things, namely a couple amusing bugs I'm aware of. And I had already entered the codes off screen too and whatnot. I was being all nice and prepared and whatnot. Oh well. So there are only three grab buttons on the Xbox version. How does that work? Aren't there four in the GameCube and PS2 version? I actually am not entirely sure how that works. Anyways. Into the codes again. There. Alright, so let's actually do this in a race, just for fun. I don't remember which side JP's really on. He's on this side. Oh, he doesn't say words. Whatever. Let's do a race just for fun. You know what? Let's even do highest difficulty. Off to Elysium for real this time, hopefully. It doesn't... At least it's fairly rare that the game doesn't load. There we go. You see the loading screen got as far as it should that time. Returning to France for another go round at the Elysium Alps, the Lyon based designer decided to make this year's course look similar at first glance, but very different once you arrive. The leaves in this opening already? Obvious, but others will require a keen eye. Is there any fun dialogue here for, for JP? You already did show off here, of course. Okay. Right. Simon trying to socialize again. Pourquoi m'impose-t-on toujours des adversaires aussi nuls? Put your board where your mouth is, bro. I'm sure it would fit. I agree. No but then again, uh, he is gonna. Oh, do a pretty good job against this time. I should try to show off other routes while I'm here too. Unfortunately, I've actually already taken this rail. Ow. I think I will actually try to shop new rats here. I like how Brody is smart enough to try to go slow there. But I never shut off what's on the left here, or right, for instance. It's not the fastest start, for one. Should be part of why. How does he get up on the top left again? I don't remember actually. Ah, oh, darn it! Turn the wrong way. When you do a 180, your rotation controls are reversed, essentially. Which throws me off sometimes. But what I want to show is partway through the track, so it's going to take us a moment to get there. Oh, 
wish I could have taken the high road there, because it's a good deal faster, but oh well. But, might as well have some fun along the way. And by fun, I mean that. Try taking the rails here too. There are lots of rails I tend not to actually do much with on these sides here. If you can actually stay on them, they're a pretty quick way to get around. But the thing is, if you go too fast, you tend to fly off them as reality ensues. So, this is the spot to be in though. Works out that we're JP because JP is the kind of guy that would that would do this here. So what are we doing here? There's a very particular rail here that has an issue. That issue is this. <laughs> Whoops. This game has a few out of bounds issues. And incidentally, it's not, I don't know if there are any out of bounds that are just useless. Because what tends to happen is they're actually useful. Now, if you want to actually use them to get the best possible times, then you actually want to memorize the correct timing to hit the reset button. But for one, you can see how tall these uh, these courses are. Eventually, it'll reset you automatically. And it actually usually puts you a good deal ahead when you do that, too. It's actually not a bad idea. If you're playing the game seriously. Uh, I imagine I can't get up here and do things my preferred way. Nope. Hold on. That's not gonna work. Of course, given how far ahead we are now, I don't really have much to worry about. I always forget about the trick book. It's weird I max stats and not have a trick book done at all. Let's see if I can do the shortcut, so to speak. I don't think it's a deliberate feature, but a little trick here on the on the jump here. I never get it, but yes. Loving cold to. Pull off the Uber there too, for a while. So, how does that compare to my opponent's time wise? It might mess up the rubber banding too. Because 4 minutes isn't exactly a great time, although I did it a little slowly elsewhere. Eh, it's a good deal better than the than the high scores at least. Yeah, so over a minute over the rest of the opponents, and this was on high hard difficulty. I don't know if doing that messes up the, the rubber banding or not, but it's a it's a thing to to see. There are a few more of those, and I'll do the few I can remember. There aren't a ton, but that's the easiest by far, I think. Brody's probably not the right guy for this, but I would not mind being Brody again. Considering we're going for this next one, should probably use a different outfit this time. It's best board that actually has a, a design to it. Let's do something similar to last time. Again, this is mostly the same thing and results in skipping a lot of stuff while also 
I mean, this is a short track to begin with, but this one's more difficult. I don't think Brody's the type of guy that would do this sort of thing, but I don't know. A lower ice jam, once the crown jewel of the SSX World. Maybe he has <clears throat> some uncanny ability to transcend physical matter. I don't know. I do like how you see characters doing a variety of different things at the start there. Counter. This one's a little hard to pull off though, so it'll take me a few tries, I think. I also don't remember exactly where you do it, actually. I th actually, I think I do. But. So it's at the very beginning there, and you only get one chance to do it. It's a little tough, actually, with, with an alpine board now that I think about it. Yeah, you have to kind of curve to the left and then the right. Or you actually might not be the best guy for this. You have to jump essentially over here, but not hit the sign. You have to go just to the right of the billboard, if I remember right. I think I showed this off at one point in my initial let's play this game too. Yeah, I didn't jump high enough. So essentially the invisible wall there, the kill plane, is pretty inadequate. I like, I like how there are parts of courses where the AI just wreck it every time. Ah! That was almost it too. It does usually take me a few tries, mind you, but with practice you can do this pretty consistently. <laughs> that was not my intention. Was that Cowry I just ran over? By accident? Darn it! Ideally I'd be going a bit more to the right, but I don't have much cornering with this guy. What board is Calvin using? I don't think you'll usually see your opponents use Uber boards. I may be wrong. I don't think that's an Uber board Calvin is using. Yes! There you go. Also, let's you uh, admire the skybox a little bit. And this one you get a bit better view to of the rest of the course. On uh, this one, it really does make a big difference if you reset at the right time, because I could have reset already and I think I would have appeared near the bottom of the track. Yeah, like now I'm falling way out of the course at this at this point. So it's actually pretty inefficient. But it skips you right to the end of the entire course. What are you doing? Come on, bro, pull it together. I guess it's just karma. You see how long it took for the for that boost on the side to run out though? I had acquired quite a bit. But yeah, that's one way to mess up your your best times. <laughs> By polluting it with I win, we all win, you dig? With cheating. In record time, indeed. And I have at least two more show off that I'll do next episode. We'll see if I can come up with anything else after that to do in the game before we call it quits. There are so many characters in this game that I would love to play through the game as, though. Honestly, I don't think there are any characters in the game that I actually dislike. Like, I'd be happy to play through the game as any of them. And just get some time to, to know each of these guys on camera, but I can't save the game, so <laughs> can't really do that here. I might have to go back to the GameCube version if I want to do that. Or play it on IPS too, but then I'd have worse audio. Well, yeah, I'd have worse video quality. Much worse video quality than this. Because of the cables I have. Oh well. Bye everyone.